Hey babes, the wait is finally over. Welcome to our primary bedroom. Okay, so first and foremost, my name is Carissa. If you're new and today I'm going to show you an inside detailed look into our primary bedroom suite. If you are new, please subscribe. I post tons of vlogs, hauls, fashion and decor content and I really hope that you all stick around. So a little bit of a backstory for those that are new. Juan and I moved in together about four months ago. Juan is my longtime boyfriend. We've been together for about five or six years. I've kind of lost count. <laughs> and let me tell you, there was zero design in this space and all of the furniture was college-like furniture. I'm so sorry, babe, but it's true. And I moved from a condo that I own and all the furniture in that condo ended up staying in the condo because I'm actually converting my condo into an Airbnb. I've shared some of the Airbnb journey through my vlogs if you guys have watched them, but I definitely have a lot more content on that to come. So that means pretty much when I moved in, everything had to go and we had to start from scratch. So my primary focus the last four months has been on redecorating. I cannot wait to share with you all this space and all of the changes that I've made, including the ensuite bathroom. I've made a ton of really good changes there as well. So this is just a full on primary bedroom suite tour. So let's go ahead and get the tour started. When you walk in from the hallway this is the view that you get when you walk in everything you see in this room is brand new even down to the mattress we ended up upgrading this mattress to a king size mattress and let me tell you guys king size mattresses save relationships if you're anything like me and enjoy your space when you sleep oh a king size mattress is a must-have we ended up going with a sleep number the i7 i believe it's amazing, I've reviewed it before in another vlog, but both sides are adjustable and it's just completely customized to each individual person, which is really nice because obviously no two people sleep the same. And while I'm speaking on the mattress, let's go ahead and continue to talk about just the full on bedding and bed setup here. I always get a ton of questions about my bedding, surprisingly to me. All of the white that you see here with the duvet cover, the sheets and the pillowcases, this is all from Brook Linen. I actually really like it. I bought it with my own money and the quality is amazing. It's hold up really, really well. It's super soft. It's really, really nice. These pillow covers are from Pottery Barn and same with this throw blanket is super nice and cozy. I love them so much. All the other bedding detail, including the types of pellets we have and the duvet insert. I'll make sure I'm including all that sort of information down in the description for you guys. The bed frame itself is from Modloff and we are really in love with it. This is very similar to a bed frame that we were eyeing from Restoration Hardware, where it's a really thick headboard with thick like panel sides as well. And it's all like upholstered, but with Modloff, it was just like a fraction of the Price as well and it did come really fast too we ordered it in November and it came in January so that was a lifesaver just because all furniture is just super back ordered we have nightstands on both sides and these nightstands are from restoration hardware they are the bezier collection and it's in like this really gorgeous deep gray oak color we really wanted to balance having a little bit more like masculine things in this room that's just something that i'm really into of course combined with being minimal modern and of course just a very neutral aesthetic as well that's completely my vibe these are the perfect height to match like a very low sort of platform bed i mean this pretty much sits on the grounds and then bringing it to the ground we have this rug here which I just find absolutely gorgeous. It's really soft, it's from West Elm, and it's an eight by 10 rug that we put underneath the bed here. And then the lamps on both sides is a really pretty like iron black color, so it's like a metal material here. And these are from Pottery Barn. 
this painting above the bed you guys may recognize it if you are caught up on my vlogs this is something that i've completely painted myself from scratch i took an already framed canvas piece and completely painted over it and made it my own definitely not an art piece for everybody but it's something i'm in love with and i definitely saw myself having a black canvas piece in this room above the bed to help tie in some of the other black in this space and just like balance out the neutrals too this is inspired from an rh piece that I saw that was like six thousand dollars and I was like no thank you I can totally do that myself so <laughs> so this is what we ended up with and yeah love it so pivoting on over to this side this is my dresser and this is like my side of the bed if you will all these drawers are just like completely full of stuff obviously no open space we have all my sports bras and swim up here for example obviously same line and collection as the nightstands and then we have a little bit of decor up here too these are faux stems that i got from etsy and i think that they were like pussy willows or something like that but i feel like they offer like a very realistic look and i love the texture that it adds to this space by having a little bit of like a wood element with something that's very simplistic too these vases are a complete obsession this bigger one is from zara home and then the smaller one on the left is from a shop off of Instagram that I found. So I'll make sure that I'm linking that stuff. This huge arch mirror is from Crate and Barrel. Again, trying to tie some of like the black elements together. And then we have a little statuesque woman here, which we love. My favorite perfumes are just hanging out here for me. And then some of my daily go-to jewelry is in this little dish too, this little marble dish. All these pieces are really affordable as well. I guess the last few elements in this room, if I pivot it around from the bed, so the bed's right here. We have a big open window with our curtains here. These curtains are from Target's and they're blackout curtains. They are called like a sour cream color. They are neutral to the core. They're not warm, they're not cool tone or anything. It's just like the perfect texture as well. And they're so freaking affordable. They're always out of stock, but if you set the out of stock reminders, they do come in, but you just have to be quick about it. This length in particular was really hard to get my hands on, but I finally got them and I have like six panels hung up. And right next to it, we have the TV mounted up and then another one of the Bezier dressers to round out our collection. This is the four drawer one and this is Juan's dresser. And then I just ended up putting a few of Juan's clones up here too. He didn't have a dresser at all. And so this is like a huge upgrade for him and he has like a lot more space to grow too, which is nice. All right, let's go into the bathroom now. Quick little overview of the bathroom here. So we have the stand-up shower, we have a bathtub, and then over to the left here, we have two sinks. So the big thing that I was working on for the past week, I actually just finished a couple of days ago, was swapping out all of the hardware in here for black. I love black and white. I just, I'm not over this trend at all. I love how clean and crisp it looks and I love adding like wood elements in here as well. So yeah, I completely love this space now. And it's kind of funny because this was already black. I didn't change any of that. And then of course, like the framing of the shower was black. So it was always in our mind that we were eventually going to swap everything out for black hardware and black faucets, but it's just, just taking us a while. And look at me just being super handy as well, right? So I switched out the faucets over here and then these black faucets. I hung up all new hardware too. And then here's like the Roman tub. We have a towel rack over here. And then the new addition was like a hook right here, which I just find like life changing, honestly. And then I found these really cool shower shelves off of Amazon. They just hang in the shower so seamlessly. And I feel like it's just sleek. We just needed more space in the shower to like have our products and such. Since I took up like this full space right here with my Orbe shampoo and conditioner, we needed more space. So I like this. I feel like it's very simplistic and it's very clean looking too, which I like i'm just not a fan of having this bench full of products because every time we get out of the shower we squeegee the glass shower doors and walls like with this little squeegee right here to keep all of like the hard water stains or whatever off of it 
yeah, so it's hard to clean the glass if there's all these products right here. Plus, it's not very clean looking either. So anyways, yes, I'm very happy to get it off of the bench and up here on these little shelves. Taking it down to the floor for a second, we just have some bath mats here that are from Restoration Hardware. I wanted to keep it white and just clean and crisp as well. Over here around the shower, this has been a moment for me. I've been wanting to create just like a really relaxing environment around the tub. So that way I can finally utilize this tub. My condo, I only have a stand-up shower in it, so I haven't been able to take a bath in so long. So already I've taken a few baths, but I wanted to make it like more inviting and relaxing, and I feel like I've done that. So I added in some hurricanes with some candles right here on both sides. I have them in the back corner as well. And this board right here is from Etsy. It's a custom made board to the exact length that I wanted it to be. And it has a little slot in here to put like your phone or your iPad or something in here while you're laying in the tub. And then of course I just have a little bit of decor elements over here with some faux succulents and my bath soap as well from True Botanicals. I guess it's time to pivot on over to this space with the dual sinks. Dual sinks is life-changing for relationships is it not it's really nice to have like our own space this is juan sink and then this is my sink over here we switched out all the light fixtures as well to a black color and then this countertop is just like everything it's actually the same one that we have down in the kitchen it is a quartz countertop i love the tones of this it's like very beigey and gray super cute and then we have two like hand soap options in the center here this hand soap is like one of the best it doesn't have any sls in it which it's just super harmful for you and it's just really clean ingredients it causes no irritation for my skin and everything like that so it's really nice but then i also have been obsessed with this one as of late the way hand wash it has little beads in it to exfoliate your hands and it smells like super divine all on a marble tray here and then you guys already know like all of the drawers in here are like completely organized I vlogged that when we moved in and so yeah all these little drawers have organizational things in it behind the door there's even more storage space which is just life-saving there's one thing about this house is that it's lacking storage space for some reason like closets and stuff but yeah up here this is where we keep all of, like the extra towels and then toilet paper at the very top here. Let's see how messy this is. <laughs> and then this one is just more storage of like makeup, medicine, hair, skin, all the miscellaneous stuff is all in this cabinet right here. It truly has become like a dream bathroom of mine. I love, love the black hardware. I know I already stated that, but you guys remember like when I renovated my bathroom in my condo and I was like swapping everything out to like the black hardware. I hated the fact that I like redid all of that, even the kitchen and everything. And then here I am moving out of it. So I'm trying to bring some of that over to here because I like it so much. So yeah, I think that the last place to look that we haven't looked yet to wrap up the whole primary bedroom suite is the closet so i'll give you a quick peek into our closet as well if you continue through the bathroom you'll end up in the closet this room right here is the toilet room we all know what that looks like so we don't need to go in there but yeah this is the master closet as of right now so who knew it was kind of like hard to show on camera but anyways we have juan stuff over on this side my stuff used to be on this side but it is now moved over to here. So this lighting might be like super poor, but we'll just go with it. So this space is gonna change completely come July. So we're actually are gonna rip it all out and put in a custom built-in closet, which I'm really excited for because as you would have seen, there's just a lot of wasted space in this room. There's only one like hanging bar that goes all the way across and there could obviously be like a second one too. So I'm really looking forward to that. It's gonna be a while. There's just a lot of things that are back ordered so definitely look forward to that in the vlogs that the space is going to just be completely renovated which is really nice during the consultation of designing the closet the designer actually recommended that all of my stuff be on this side of the closet before it was actually over here like i was saying but there's actually a panel against the wall in the back that kind of like impedes on the hanging space and such. And so, yeah, you can't really hang as much stuff on this side as you can on this side. So it was kind of a nice surprise that the designer recommended that I move over here because I've been wanting to move over here. So. <laughs> 
it was kind of like worked out for the best. So for this area, I mean, I am kind of cramped, so that's why I'm looking forward to more hanging space and more organization, of course. But let me walk you through the closet a little bit, a little sneak peek into my daily closet. We of course have Oliver on the floor. <laughs> He has been following me around this entire tour. I've been trying not to step over him and trip over him and stuff like that. On the very bottom here, we have some of my shoes. Some of my clothes are over actually across the hall in my office and filming space, just because I'm kind of maxed out a little bit here until I get my shoe wall. My shoe wall is actually going to go right here. It's like a full on wall for my shoes, which I'm really excited about. So we obviously have a hamper in the corner and then I have everything kind of organized by colors. We have all the black stuff in the back. And then, yeah, most of my sweatshirts are right here, but this space was starting to get a little bit small. So I have a lot of sweatshirts actually just mixed in up here with my normal other clothes, I guess. We have all my jeans and all like my long hanging stuff too, or at least like my shorts that I wanted to hang up in my closet. We have some of like my trousers and everything right here too. And up at the very top, I just have some other shoes that are too tall to fit in these things. And then I also have just a ton of like shoe boxes and stuff. I, is anybody else like this? I have a thing about shoe boxes. I can't get rid of them immediately. And then of course, like for my Yeezys and some of my Air Jordans, I can't get rid of those either. So, and some of these actually have shoes in it, like my snow boots at the top or these like knee high boots too. Um, so I just kind of like kept them in their boxes for now. But all right, you guys, that wraps up the tour. I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing our primary bedroom suite. It's been a labor of love. It's been lots of months in the process. So I really appreciate you guys' patience. I know how eager you guys were to see this space. It was really important to create just somewhere that was really cozy and comfy and just a place that I enjoyed being in, right? Like, oh. I look forward to like sleeping every single night or just like hanging out in here to watch TV too. It's a very special space that I really, really love. As I always do in all of my videos, I will link literally every single thing down below that I have showed and shared with you today. If there is something that I can't find or it's out of stock, I'll at least say where it's from or I'll try to maybe link something similar for you guys. But just know everything that I shared today is down in the description for you. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video definitely give it a thumbs up if you are not subscribed please make sure you are subscribed before you go also feel free to give me a follow over on instagram at i am carissa renee i hope you guys are having a great day a great week and i'll see you in a couple of days in my next video bye guys love you so much mm -hmm.